Today I'm gonna show you exactly how I add very interesting light rays in my edits. Hey there, my name is Ali. You can find all my work on Instagram at Photoshop Hustler. I'm gonna link my Instagram in the description below. And today's uh, tutorial is mainly because I got tons of messages when I added my tap to edit version of this edit. This was the effect between the first photo and the second photo, the light effects. I got tons of messages of people asking me how I made these light effects. So I'm gonna show you exactly step by step how I created them. Okay, this is my original file. This is my light folder. Actually, let me open all layers. This is my original file and this is the light that I added. So now, step by step, I'm going to show you exactly how I created this light. But before we get started to working, I'm going to close my color grading layers, all of them, so that they don't distract us while working. Usually, I add these color grading layers after I'm done with my whole edit. Okay, so this is the light layer. As you can see, it's made up of four layers. These four. I'm gonna delete the four of them. Okay, I'm selecting something. I have to, I had to deselect because I had something selected like that. So I had to deselect in order to be able to delete. Okay, the first thing you have to make a selection. This is the selection I made. I made this, I always keep my selection on new layers so that if I hold control or command on Mac and I press click, I get my selection selected. Okay, how I made that? It is by standing on the main layer, use the quick selection tool and you start selecting. Hold shift to add to your selection and something like that. You can hold alt, right click, you can make it smaller or bigger harder or softer and you can hold alt and click to minus parts of your selection so this is how actually exactly my selection looked like okay so when i do something like that i just add a new layer then i hold alt backspace to put any color on it let's get rid of the old one so this is our new selection so by holding control click i can get the selection that i made really easily okay so let's Right click this one, let's give it a color so it's somehow unique. And I'm gonna close the layer visibility. Okay, now we need to add our uh, light. So I'm gonna create a new layer. Uh, for, we made this one, so let's call this light one. Okay, now I'm gonna control click this one. So now I have a selection. I'm gonna choose the color I want, which is somewhere here in the orange. It doesn't matter if the color is not perfect from the first time. You can always fix it. So I'm going to start painting. You see what's happening when I paint? This is how it looks like. So I'm going to start painting on the walls. I'm going to make it a little bit harder. So that I'm painting something like that. Maybe softer here. And I'm going to paint like that. Harder again. Paint here. I'm going to control D to deselect. And then I'm going to just, with a very soft brush, add some color here. So I don't have a very sharp edge on the floor. Something like that as well. Let's actually get rid of the model and her shadow. Let's delete them for now. Okay, and then I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit. Paint here. Lower the opacity even more. Paint there. Even much lower opacity because the light is going further from the source. Here. Maybe some here as well. It won't really matter the ones inside. I'm just going to show you why later on. Why they won't matter. Okay. So this is my first layer. It looks horrible, of course. But when you change that to overlay, this is where the magic starts to happen. Actually, it is now looking a little bit decent, but we still need to fix it a lot more. Okay. I need just to add more color on those areas here and there. It doesn't matter if you're flooding it with color because 
uh, I'll go to the brush, I'll add even more because we're still gonna be fixing it more and more. How I'm gonna fix it now, I'm gonna right click, open something called the blending options. You can also open the blending options by double clicking your layer. So this is the blending options. It has tons of options, but today we're only gonna talk about the blend if. The blend if sliders let you decide whether you want to keep your layer in the dark areas or in the bright areas of the photo. And it works with the slider down here below. So if I move this one, you see what's happening? It's getting deleted from the dark areas and it's remaining in the bright areas. If I do the opposite, however, it's gonna get deleted from the bright areas and it will remain on the dark areas. In this case, this is light. The light will hit the bright areas because these are the highlights. So I'm gonna move this one to the left, uh, to the right a little bit. I'm gonna now, it's very sharp, like it's only targeting one pixel of darkness and brightness. So I need to feather it out. You can do that by holding Alt key and dragging it a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna drag that even a little bit to the right, then drag that just a slight to the left until I get whatever look I like. I like this look actually, but I believe it's a little bit weak here and there and it's too strong here. So I can do something. I can try the hard light. I don't know if I should try the highlights. Try the color. I'm going to stick with the overlay actually. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eraser tool. Where is my eraser tool? E for eraser tool. And I'm gonna lower the opacity. I believe here it's nice and down it's too strong. So I'm just gonna softly, that's too strong, very softly just erase from down. So now as you can see, we have our effect here. I can press Ctrl J if it's weak. I can press Ctrl J to make a duplicate if you want to make it stronger. And if it's strong and you want to make it weak, you can just lower the opacity or increase the opacity in this case i guess 100 percent is good okay we're done with the first layer let's do our second layer it's gonna be another layer this time i'm gonna use something much more colorful and darker more to the red maybe and using the brush this time i'm gonna let's let let me control click first and i'm gonna paint only on the right and left part here and there something like that and with a very low opacity I'm gonna paint on the floor, something like that. This time, I'm gonna do the exact same, double click and move it to the left, hold Alt and drag it to the right. But this one, I'm gonna put it into screen mode. What screen mode does, it makes everything just brighter. I'm gonna go to the eraser. I believe here it's too strong down again and a little bit too strong also here and there. So this is the screen effect. I'm gonna lower the opacity strongly. So it's not that strong, it's just some light. I'm gonna actually make another copy of this one. Let's try putting it to soft light or overlay. Overlay, let's see how it look like with the red color. Uh, I like the red color, but it's too reddish now. So simply I'm gonna press Ctrl and U. It will open the hue saturation. So now you can control your uh, saturation, whether you want it to be so colorful or less color. I'm going to keep that to zero. I want to control this one. I want to choose the color I want. You can make it like green, yellow, blue. In this case, it's too reddish. So I want to move it from the red to the orange. So I'll move the slider to the right. And we can always load the opacity and the fill just to make sure it's a very settle effect okay now we're done with the first three layers the next one is gonna be a little bit challenging but it's really nice i love this technique so much you go to the creating a new fill or adjustment layer then you choose the gradient tool in the gradient tool you have one of them called radial so you're gonna make a sorry the angle not the, the radial this is the angle one so in the angle one i'm gonna give it an angle of 45 and then I'm gonna click here so that I choose the color I want in this case I'm gonna choose the gradient type from solid to noise what noise does it adds a lot of colors but the thing is I don't want it to be in colors 
I want it to be. I can actually like turn off the blue, turn off the green and a little bit of blue until I reach the orange color I want. Like keep playing with the colors until I reach the orange color I want. But the easier way is to go to the HSB, which is U saturation and brightness. And in this one, you turn the saturation all the way down. And you can choose how bright or how dark it is. You can always play, but also press randomize to get like some random figures. I like this one. You want one of them which has a lot of contrast in it. And let's brighten it up a little bit, something like that. You can also choose the roughness, how rough you want it or how soft you want the light to be. In this case, I'm going to go something, let's say 85. Uh, no, that's too much, I guess. Let's try 70. 70 is good for light rays. And you can always fix it after that. Okay, so now I have the gradient tool. If I try to move this, it's not going to move, as you can see, because it's a fill layer. It's an adjustment layer. So I have to double click it so that I can move it. You can also reverse it. If you want to reverse the light direction, you can also play around with the angle. I want the light actually to be coming from here this the white parts but i don't want that so much white parts i want this part area with grays something like that that's too dark so i'm gonna rotate it until i get what i want i want this one i guess and i'm gonna press ok but this is now you can't edit it and play around with it a lot so i'm gonna create a new layer i'm gonna control click them both so I'm selecting them both. Then I'm going to right click merge layers. So now I have it on a layer. If I change it now to screen mood, I'm only going to ignore the blacks and only see the whites. Okay, so now we, this is where our selection comes in place. Let's control click my selection. So now I have my selection. I'm going to add a layer mask. So now as you can see, my layer is only affecting whatever opposite of what I want. So I'm going to press control I invert it so now my light is coming from the inside okay so you see the light is coming from the inside but it's stopping it's not extending here and there so i'm gonna stand on the layer mask using the white brush because on layer masks white reveal and black conceal so i'm just gonna let's lower the opacity a little bit i'm just gonna increase the light all the way on the floor here and there and Anytime I can switch back to black and delete the edges gradually. Let's try lower opacity and just very gradually delete the edges so it looks natural. So now I have my light. If you want to move this, you see what's happening? It's going to get destroyed because it's moving both the mask and the, the layer. So you have to unlink it first. You have to stand on the layer and move it inside the mask. So now I can also control T to free transform and I can hold control and I can make it like a narrow light or wide light. I can make it narrower from the edges. I can play around with it as much as I want. In this case, I'm going to make it something like that. So that it has some narrow point here, which is shooting the light. Okay, something like that is good. I'm going to erase this hard edge I have here. Okay. This is the first step we did. The second step is by standing on the layer and pressing Ctrl M for curves. Now it opened the curves adjustment layer. If I move this one like that, I'm going to get less light because it's erasing the black and it's leaving the whites. So I'm going to keep this one a little bit here. And if I move that, it's that the light is going to be stronger. So I'm going to just increase the contrast like that a little bit. So I get more sharp light. Ctrl T, I'm going to rotate it a little bit something like that so the light is uh i don't know no i guess like that is better okay i'm just gonna keep it as it is okay now the final step is you go to image adjustments hue saturation or press the control u button then you press on the colorize now this thing has color i pump the saturation 100 percent just to be able to see what color i'm working with so you can choose whatever color you like in this case i'm gonna go with the, like the orange color and a little bit reddish, I guess. No, I'll go to more yellowish. 
and then the saturation of course you don't want to go all the way up just a little bit saturation you can also make it darker or brighter based on your preference in this case i'm going to darken it a little bit to make it just a little bit less subtle effect and i'm going to stand on the mask use the brush i see here you can see there is like some sharp edges so i'm just going to get rid of them i'm also going to get rid of some of it on the top so that it's only coming from that part now if i switch from black to white and i paint i'm going to bring back some of it i want to bring back some of it here in that area because this is where the light is coming from so it's going to be more realistic if it has some light here and maybe some light there as well on the floor okay so this is the light layer we created let's group whatever we did today and let me show you the before and the after this is the light effect we made okay so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial about creating light and everything and make sure you check my instagram i upload daily amazing tutorials with a step-by-step -step before and afters and tap to edits so make sure you check my instagram and if you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel here and thumbs up